One of the cases I had uh, several years ago involved a product that was on aircraft and it was called a collision avoidance warning system. And that was a very fancy way of saying that there was a device that told you when you were going to crash into something. And there were two, two companies that made this device. One company claimed the other one had infringed on its patent. And the question was, were the two products the same? And was the technology the same in the two products? Well, the only way to demonstrate that was for the jury in that case to actually see how the products operated. And you couldn't simply take one of these devices and hook it up to a laptop in a, uh, in a courtroom and make it work like it was supposed to work. So we had to take a jury onto a plane uh, and literally aim the plane at a mountain so that the device would go off and there was a warning that came on that said terrain terrain and there were alarms that went off and we had to take two different planes with two different juries to go up in the air shoot them in a mountain and see if they actually operated the same way and that was the only way to determine if one product had actually been designed the same way as the other and infringed on it. That was one of the more interesting cases that, that I've had. Another case uh, that involved the same line of work involved black boxes. We all know when a plane crashes, we, there's always a lot of conversation about whether the black box has been found. You know, the black box contains all the voice and other data.